I'm Al Geiberger, Mr. 59, a pro emeritus here at the Stone Eagle Golf Club in Palm Desert, California. And I'm going to touch a little bit on the high ball, but more on the low ball, hitting the ball low. Everybody seems to hit the ball high, and the reason they hit it high is because they've just learned to take a full swing, and when they take a full swing, they get a full release. That creates more loft, and they hit the ball high. And you can get away with that most of the time, but when the wind blows, you have to keep the ball low. And there's a lot goes into hitting a ball low, and I'd like to go through that if, if I can with you here. But uh, hitting a ball low, we go back to my putting the ball between your feet and step further ahead now. You want the ball back in your stance. That's the first thing to hit it low because you have a circle and you're going to be hitting down on the ball. So you have it back in your stance. You choke down on the club a little bit. And see how my hands are further ahead? This takes the loft off the club. Now when I swing, here's where a lot of people do not understand is when you swing you go back your arms fold you set but as you come down you hold the set longer and you keep the loft off the club the hips are moving through like this and you're keeping that loft off so it impacts the hands are way up ahead and then it and you swing easier to keep it lower if you swing especially if the winds blowing if you swing hard and you do everything I said, the ball spins and goes back up in the air. But here, put the ball between your feet, back further in your stance, choke down a little bit, hands ahead. I'm going to swing and set, and I'm going to hold my set all the way through, moving my hips. And hit it low. See how low that went? Now. Why should you practice hitting a low shot? One, it'll make you play better. Make you play better in the wind, but it'll also teach you to hold your release coming into the ball, which everybody needs to work on. It'll teach you to move your hips through and keep it off. It'll teach you the proper way to hit the ball. And also, most people don't hit down on the ball. And this will teach you to hit down on the ball, to hitting the ball first and taking your divot. So practicing hitting low shots will make you a better player. And also, if the wind is blowing out at your range into you someday, go practice in the wind. Don't say, oh, it's blowing too hard. The pros will practice when the wind is blowing into them and also coming right to left. They do not like to practice downwind or a left to right wind. Try that. Work on your low ball because it'll improve the rest of your game.